The election of Argentine Cardinal Jorge Mario Bergoglio as the new Pope Wednesday opens a series of new hopes and new challenges for the future of the Roman Catholic Church. Pope Francis I, the name he chose after his election, is the first non-European pope in 1,300 years. He comes from a modest family of five siblings, his father an Italian immigrant and railway worker. Father Rev. Sean from U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops told the BBC about Bergoglio's past. Well, he's a very interesting person and has an interesting background. We know that he studied chemistry uh, before joining the Jesuits. Uh, and he's been a very genuine priest all along, that he has lived with the poor. The Catholic National Reporter portrays him as a humble and fair man, writing Bergoglio's reputation for personal simplicity also exercised an undeniable appeal. A prince of the church who chose to live in a simple apartment rather than the archbishop's palace, who gave up his chauffeured limousine in favor of taking the bus to work, and who cooked his own meal. The Pope is also known for his work with the poor. Forbes reports in 2001 he visited a hospice where he washed the feet of 12 people suffering from AIDS. But Borgoglio is already receiving international criticism for views deemed conservative even for a church leader. He's been vocal on issues of sexuality and, to little surprise, opposes abortion, same-sex marriage and the free distribution of contraceptives in Argentina. And in 2010, Bergoglio said gay adoption was discrimination against children and called same-sex marriage, quote, a scheme to destroy God's plan. Politico reports those remarks provoked strong criticism from Argentine President Cristina Kirchner, who called Bergoglio's tone reminiscent of medieval times and the Inquisition. Bergoglio, who was named cardinal in 2001, was a front-runner in the 2005 papal ballot, which led to the election of Benedict XVI. Still, Bergoglio's election raised hopes for many in the Christian community, in particular his choice of the name Francis, which CNN reports is tied to the Christian figure St. Francis of Assisi. The name symbolizes poverty, humility, simplicity, and rebuilding the Catholic Church. CNN also points to a well-known story about the saint which could explain the Pope's choice. In a famous episode, Christ on the Cross came to life three times in the small church of St. Damien and told him, quote, go Francis and repair my church in ruins. And indeed, it seems Bergoglio has quite a bit to repair, as the church faces tough challenges in the 21st century. The new pope will have to reassert the church's place in the world and act on the child abuse scandals, but also manage a brewing controversy over the Vatican's bank. The New York Times reports, The new pope will also inherit power struggles over the management of the Vatican bank, which must continue a process of meeting international transparency standards, or risk being shut out of the mainstream international banking system. Bergoglio is the 266th pontiff of the Roman Catholic Church, but the first Jesuit to fill the role. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. Multiple sources, a broader view.